Sioux Falls Mayor Paul Tenhagen delivered today's State of the City address virtually due to the coronavirus pandemic, though the focus of the speech extended well beyond COVID-19. Kelloland's Travis Fossing has the story. Addressing residents from an empty hall at Washington Pavilion, Mayor Paul Tenhaken says Sioux Falls will emerge from COVID-19, a stronger community. Sioux Falls entered this pandemic in a place of strength, and as a strong and resilient community, Sioux Falls is poised to enter the post-COVID world stronger than before on multiple levels. As the fight against coronavirus continues, so do major road improvement projects. Ken Haken says this year's budget has a higher percentage of dollars allocated to infrastructure projects than any time in recent history. The 26th Street and Southeastern Overpass is expected to wrap up later this year. Expansion of Marion Road to meet the needs of Jefferson High School is well underway. So are key rehabilitation projects like 57th Street, 41st Street, and Western Avenue. Ken Haken says illegal drugs remain one of the city's biggest challenges but feels we're making progress. We have devoted additional resources, such as a new narcotics crimes unit, an additional narcotics sergeant, and more training for these teams. And as a result, we have seen record narcotics seizures and aggressive measures to drive drugs out of our city. Ten Haken also listed three things that have him excited about the future of Sioux Falls. Our financial stewardship, our economic strength, and the heart of our community and says that economic strength is still evident during a pandemic. Businesses from around the country are continuing to reach out to me during this pandemic, interested in creating jobs in Sioux Falls and investing in this community. In Sioux Falls, Travis Fossing, Kettleland News. Denhagen also called the expansion and rehabilitation of the city's wastewater treatment plant the largest investment in the history of Sioux Falls.